even welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to create a chatbot uh, using uh, langchain open ai as well as pinecone vector database we will be also making use of postgres database and here we will be making use of chatbot for our pdf document now instead of pdf you can take any kind of a document but you will have to change a little bit of code depending on what type of document you are using so yeah let's get started on how to do this so uh, first of all i won't show you guys the output otherwise you will get confused uh, so the first thing which we have to use is you will have to go to pinecone and here you will have to create you will have to sign up now pinecone is a vector database it is used for creating embeddings of our pdf document so uh, if you ask a question to an llm it can't directly uh, like based on your pdf it won't be able to understand it we have to create embeddings for it so that's why that's how it is able to understand our question uh, so that's why we are using pinecone uh, database it is uh, it has a free tier again this is not a sponsor of any uh, database uh, like just because it has a free tier that's why i'm using it if you want to use some other kind of vector database that's fine as well so you just have to uh, go over here and create your own vector database so just go to pinecone sign up once you sign up uh, what you have to do is uh, you will have to uh, firstly um, you will see some you will see a page something like this here you will have to click on create index okay next uh, for name you can give it as docs again if you give it a different name do remember this name because we will be using this name later on in our uh, later on uh, inside our uh, code and here for dimension i have given it as 1536 now this number is very important because we are using open ai and if you do a quick google search on open ai dimension generated for vector it says that it is 1536 as you can see over here so you can't add any number which you wish for uh, be specific in in, in case uh, you are using something uh, other than open ai then you will have to find that uh, generated like ai dimension for a uh, vector uh, for any particular service which you are using given that we are using open ai that's why i know that it is 1536 i have just googled it and then enter 1536 and here you can click on create index next uh, you will also see an api key section over here for pinecone which we will come back to in a bit uh, the next thing which you have to do is uh, also uh, i am using this neon database the reason why i am using neon database is that it is a postgres database again it provides a free tier uh, if you don't want to use neon database that's fine uh, uh, the reason why i am using postgres database because in some cases i want to remember what the user has entered like i want to remember the context so suppose uh, for the very first question the user enters something like what is one plus one the ai will give two then i will ask it add three more if it doesn't remember my first question then it will get confused okay what what add three more to what uh, so uh, that's why i'm using postgres database like this postgres database is not necessary but uh, for uh, retrieval uh, like for uh, one of the things uh, apis which we will use from langchain it is necessary i will show you without postgres as well but in that case it won't be able to remember what it has answered previously or what question we asked previously so that's why postgres database is necessary instead of postgres you can also use redis mongodb but then you will have to uh, look into the langchain documentation for that on how to use uh, that specific apis so let's get started so first uh, uh, you can you instead of uh, po if you have local postgres you can use that as well next the very first thing which you have to do is you will have to create a folder i have named it as final you can name it whatever you want then here i have created a fi file called main.py uh, you will have to open your terminal cd to your uh, pro like folder uh, whatever you have given it a name first run this command which will create a virtual environment then run this command which will activate our virtual environment in our project i'm using fast api uh, now you don't have to use fast api in case you don't know what fast api is it is a web framework for creating uh, rest api endpoints and uvcon is an, a web server so that's why i'm using fast api along with uvcon but if you want you can use django and flask as well uh, the usage of fast api will be very minimum inside our project next i have installed langchain langchain-openai 
then python-.env because i have created a .env file for saving all the api keys which i will come back at the very last and here i have created pip install langchain dash community as well then we require this langchain text splitters as well this py pdf is because our uh, document which we have is pdf uh, if you uh, are doing it for text document you don't need this py pdf then for vector database we are using pinecone client uh, that's why i have installed this pip install then you have to install this langchain pinecone for communicating from langchain to pinecone as well and here i have installed pip install uh, psy copg as well which is for postgres database like these two dependencies are for postgres database once you install this you just have to run this command pip freeze uh, requirements.txt which will uh, you know uh, create this requirements.txt file for you next thing is you have to generate api keys for open ai so you can just go to this url sign up using email id as well as uh, it also requires your phone number so just register all those things and here you can generate a, a secret api key and you also need an organization id uh, for that you can just go to this settings icon so click on this settings and you will get the organization id next you will have to create this dot en v file and here you can see that for open ap open ai api key you can just enter this key and for organization id you can get from this settings icon next pinecone api key you can just go to pinecone and here you can click on this api key section and you can get the api key for pinecone env name you have to add this gcp dash starter whatever is your environment i am using the free uh, tier so mostly this name is same and uh, for pinecone index name it would be docs because if you remember we had given uh, the name as docs over here while creating the index okay once this is done uh, next uh, we will go to this chat folder and here uh, we will create this uh, file called inside chat create a file called create embeddings.py so this will basically what it does is that it basically uh, takes our pdf splits the pdf uh, in chunks and creates embeddings for it on the uh, pinecone vector database okay so first import py pdf loader then recursive character text splitter and vector store now we haven't uh, i haven't showed you this because for that i have created this separate so just uh, bear with me for now i'll show you that in a bit and here we are uh, calling a method called create embeddings for pdf now each pdf should have an id uh, because if you don't give a pdf an id uh, suppose tomorrow you add some different pdf then uh, the vector database might get confused on which pdf which data belongs to which pdf that's why it's better to add an id that's why it takes an id okay and next here i have taken recursive te character text splitter uh, chunk size is 500 chunk overlap is 100 and uh, here i am just loading pi pdf loader now this should be the name of your pdf file which you have inside your project it can be anything and here uh, i have just imported uh, docs loader dot load and split i am passing over text loader and here i am just assigning metadata to it and then we are calling vector store dot add document passing over docs okay next go to vector stores inside that first create that uh, first create this underscore underscore in it underscore underscore pi so that it so that this uh, folder can be treated as a module and inside pinecone dot py i have imported os our pinecone pinecone vector store as well as embeddings now for this embeddings I, we have created this folder which will i will come back to that in a bit so here we are initializing our pinecone vector database creating our vector store from pinecone vector store and then we are just building a retriever uh, build uh, by this particular method it will basically takes up take that pdf id which we will provide it and it uh, fetches the data for us from our vector database in form of embeddings obviously okay next you will have to go to embeddings and again create this file underscore underscore in it underscore underscore dot py then create a file called openai.py and here i have just imported openai embeddings uh, next you will have to uh, go to main.py and here as you can see i have imported fast api then our load.env os and i am immediately loading our environment variables over here then i am importing a retrieval qa conversational retrieval qa uh, retrieval chain sorry 
ओपन ए आई कॉन्वर्जेशन बफर मेमरी फाइल चैट मैसेज हिस्ट्री एंड पोस्ट्रेस चैट मैसेज हिस्ट्री ओके नाउ दिस ऑल थिंग्स माइड बी लिटिल कन्फ्यूजिंग फॉर यू आई विल एक्सप्लेन इट एवरी थिंग ईच थिंग बिट बाई बिट नाउ क्रिएट एम्बेडिंग्स फॉर पी डी एफ एंड बिल रिट्रीवर इज ऑल्सो इम्पोर्टेंट फर्स्टली आई एम क्रिएटिंग अवर फास्ट ए पी आई ऑब्जेक्ट ओके देन आई एम ऑल्सो इनिशियलाइजिंग अवर चैट फ्रॉम अवर ओपन ओपन ए आई सो आई एम जस्ट पासिंग अवर ओपन ए आई ए पी आई की एज वेल एज ऑर्गनाइजेशन आई डी ओके इग्नोर दिस इग्नोर दिस पार्ट फॉर नाउ नाउ फर्स्ट इज दिस ए पी आई एंड पॉइंट सो वंस यू रन योर सर्वर नाउ टू रन योर फास्ट ए पी आई सर्वर यू कैन जस्ट रन दिस कमांड इन साइड योर टर्मिनल यू वी कॉन स्पेस मेन कोलन एप डैश डैश रिलोड ओके सो द फर्स्ट ए पी आई विच एंड विच ए पी आई विच ए पी आई एंड पॉइंट विच आई हैव क्रिएटेड इज सो वेन एवर यू हिट दिस ए पी आई एंड पॉइंट इट क्रिएट्स एम्बेडिंग्स फॉर योर पी डी एफ एंड हियर यू कैन सी आई एम पासिंग द पी डी एफ आई डी नाउ टिपिकली इन अ प्रोडक्शन वर्क फ्लो वॉट वुड हैपन इज दैट अ यूजर ऑन योर वेब ऐप और ऑन योर मोबाइल ऐप सिलेक्ट्स अ पी डी एफ अपलोड्स अ पी डी एफ एंड देन यू विल गेट द पी डी एफ राइट देन यू कैन ऑटोमेटिकली जनरेट एन आई डी बेस्ड ऑन योर डेटा बेस प्राइमरी की और समथिंग लाइक दैट नाउ दैट वुड डिपेंड ऑन यू बट हियर आई हैव जस्ट हार्ड कोडेड द आई डी जस्ट फॉर सिम्प्लिसिटी बट दिस आई डी कैन बी एनी थिंग सो इफ यू रिमेंबर इफ यू गो टू दिस क्रिएट एम्बेडिंग्स फॉर पी डी एफ इट बेसिकली क्रिएट्स एम्बेडिंग्स फॉर अस अपलोड्स इट टू पाइन कोन वैक्टर डेटा बेस नाउ यू कैन जस्ट स्टार्ट योर सर्वर ओके and uh, just hit this api endpoint so in case uh, if you don't know so just hit this api endpoint now you won't get this answer okay uh, don't worry about this this was something else just uh, hit this you can go to your pinecone vector database and inside browser you should see something like this embeddings been generated from your pdf file now uh, don't run it again and again for the same pdf because uh, you will have again have unnecessary duplicate data so i uh, just run it once once you see this uh, that's it embeddings part is done okay so in typical production workflow what will happen is that a user selects a pdf uploads your pdf once you get a pdf on your server side you will upload uh, to s3 or something and simultaneously create embeddings for the same and uh, you don't need to upload the pdf to s3 again if you just want to keep track of that pdf you can uh, uploading pdf to s3 is not really necessary but i uh, am creating embeddings is necessary you can just create embeddings for your pdf and once you have that particular embeddings you can just upload it to vector database which we are doing over here okay now the second api endpoint is uh, here for retrieval qa it does not remember what previous question you have asked so it does not have any memory so it just use retrieval qa dot from chain type lmm equal to chat chain type equal to stuff and here i am calling build retriever so if you remember we had created this method inside our pinecone database which gives us all the embeddings for us and depending on that what question you have asked it uh, automatically answers those particular question and inside result i'm just getting the result value so if you go to this run your server and go to the this api endpoint slash second and if i just refresh this you should get something like uh, bangladesh okay bangladesh produces the second most uh, spices oh, okay uh so yeah and if you see my pdf so this is my pdf spices pdf and here you can see bangladesh is the second country similarly for third one i am using now conversational retrieval chain okay but here i am using memory so now there are two ways of creating memory so here what i have done is that i have so for this third third api endpoint i am using this json file as a memory now this is not scalable you should not use in production but if you are generating a poc this could be helpful so here you can see as soon as you run your server this messages dot json file is created currently it does not have anything but as soon as uh, use uh, ask some questions to it uh, it should be uh, get prefilled okay okay and why is it giving internal server error okay i'll just check this and get back to you so i uh, got to know what mistake i made so the mistake which i made was uh, i have named this and this both as memory so that was that was causing the issue so basically i have named this as one as memory 1 and this one as memory 2 now if i try to hit that particular api endpoint uh 
here you can see it has already uh, given me the answer based on the question which i had so and if i go over here here you can see uh, the same has been generated like what was my question and what was the ai's answer so it type has been also given human and type ai so depending on what question you asked uh, it has that memory uh, of uh, what questions you asked and if uh, suppose uh, you ask some uh, second question uh, based on that particular context of first question it should be able to answer it uh, as long as that data is present inside your pdf file uh, so here as you can see i have given it as memory one and here inside third api also i have changed it as memory one rest everything remains the same now for the fourth one which is using the postgres database so everything else remains the same what you have seen over here only the memory part changes and here you can see i am using our postgres database so here first we need to uh, use this postgres chat message history past your postgres url now this should be your username this should be your password this should be your domain okay and for that i'm uh, like i told you previously i'm using neon database so that i don't have to worry about all this postgres database stuff and session id should be whatever you want now session id basically would be a user id in uh, as far as i understand uh, so that uh, each user's uh, memory or context is different from the other user so that you don't mix everything in once and the postgres database might get bloated and it might get uh, your llm might get confused like what is suppose i asked uh, which is the second which is the uh, uh, country uh, which produces more spices okay it says india next question uh, suppose with the cmid i asked which is the country uh, which has more contamination uh, then suppose it says australia now i ask what about second one then it might get confused okay second one in respect to producing spices or second one in respect to contamination uh, in this case it might be related to contamination but you might be asking uh, related to producing spices okay so that's why it's better to have different session id depending on different user now currently in this app we don't have any user authentication right so i i am the own sole user so that's why i've named it as foo but you can name it whatever you want but typically it should be user id that's what i would say and here you can see that if i go to the fourth if i run this and here you can see i'm sorry okay the list only includes 10 spices because i have asked it what is the 12th country and there are only uh, up to 10 countries okay so that's why it got confused uh, now you based on this you can ask it some other question as well so that's how you can go and you don't and the most important thing is you don't have to worry about creating tables inside your postgres database or adding those messages for which one is human which one is yeah that is automatically handled by langchain itself so if you go once you start your server it automatically creates this table called messages underscore store and here you can see it has also added those messages by itself and here you can see it has differentiated type human type ai type human type uh, ai all this kind of stuff so we don't have to worry about it that is taken care by langchain itself so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye